In this video, I will show you how to create this real life lore style map animation in DaVinci Resolve. Now, real life lore are known for their map animations in many of their videos, and they have these nice looking map animations. So what I'm going to show you is how to create something similar using DaVinci Resolve. So with that being said, let's dive in. So let's go ahead and create a new timeline. Now unselect the project settings, go over to format, and from here, just change the frame rate to 30 and hit create. All right, now I'll go over to effects and add this fusion composition and change the duration to 10. So you can right click over here and click on clip, change clip duration and change this to 10 from here. Right click and open in fusion page. And from here, we have some assets. So you can find these from the link in the description. Now, the first one we need is this C foam texture and also go ahead and add this background node then connect this media in with the background and the merge with the media out so in the merge just go ahead and change the size to 1.5 all right now click on merge and add this color character from here just change the gain to 0.2 and also you can just drag this slightly up to the green side and this is so that it matches with the map that we have which is also in a more green color you can say now make sure you have this selected color collector press control space and search for waviness make sure this is connected and from here just keep the type at vertical change the scale to 50 strength to 5 and also change the speed to 0 0.1 and if you play this you will notice that this is the kind of animation that you will see right here and this is not compulsory you don't have to do this but for adding a more dynamic look to the animation i'm going to use this and real life floor does not use that in their videos but i'm going to just add this so that we can have something unique but the thing that they do have is a grid so for that just click on waviness and press Control space search for grid and use this grid right here Okay, now let's change the row cells to 10, column cells to 20, and major line spacing to 0. From here, we're going to go over to zoom, and let's increase this slightly. So you can just go with 1.07, and here we have it. Now you can go over to line color and change this to a more darker color from here. You can also go over to settings and change the blend from here as well, so that you can get a very subtle look for this grid. And this also matches with the background as well. So this is something that real life lore has in their videos a lot. So you will find this grid in their videos for their maps, in the background of the maps. But I also added this texture, you can say, and made it made a waviness effect on it. And this will give you a more unique look for your animation. All right now, let's head back to the main timeline. And from here, we're going to add in another fusion composition. Just make sure that this is of the same length as our background. So we have the background done, but now we need to do animation for our map. So let's go over to this fusion composition, add in a background, connect this, change the alpha to zero. And now let's go ahead and start adding a outline first for our map. So in the assets, you will find that we have this USA map. If I click one on the keyboard, you will see this is how it looks. So what we need to do right now is, and let me just rename this to map. So you can press F2 on your keyboard and you will be able to rename this. So for this, we also need an outline. So right now you will notice that it does not have any outline right here, but we need to add an outline. So for that, let's do the outline first. So for this, we need to add in a background first of all, and make sure to change this green to one, all the way to one. Now, while you have your background selected, Click on this matte control and also go ahead and press control space and search for delta here. Now, if you drag this matte control right here, this is how it will look. Now you need to add this map once again. So this is the map, same map that we have right here. And I'm just going to rename this as outline because we're using this map for outline as well. So if I press one, it is the same map as you can see. But right now, what we need to do is just go ahead and connect and let me just drag this map control mat control right here and what you need to do is just go ahead and add this right here on this side as you can see 
right here on this side just make sure you connect it and this is what you will get now go ahead and drag this delta key right here and you will see that this appears black now you need to connect this outline to the delta key as well just like we did with the matte control and now click on delta key and go over to the background drag this right here and this will be gone as you can see now go ahead and connect this delta key to the background Now go over to mat and from here you need to change the erode or dilate you can say and in the replace mode right here you can change this to hard color so you will get this more hard color on the outline or the stroke you can say and you can change the color from here now so you can go ahead use any color i'm going to go with white color and this is how it looks so now let's go ahead and add our map as well to this merge one so right here you can see both of these are covering the whole screen they're actually getting outside the screen so for that we need to just go over to the merge and change the size from here so let's go with 0 0.3 and do the same thing for this merge and let's go with 0 0.3 but now there is a problem which is the outline so right here you will notice that the outline is gone from here and the reason is that you need to go over to the background and from here go over to image and unselect auto resolution right now this is set at 1920 by 1080 and this is why this is not appearing because this is how it looks at the moment this is the whole size of this so we need to just increase the resolution so you can just increase the width from here and the height from here so make sure that this is visible now and you need to increase it until it is visible by the way you can go all the way to the maximum but i'm just going to go ahead with this for now so once we have this done you can go back to the delta key here and from here you can change the mat. You can change the erode dilate from here. So you can re reduce the size of this. So I'm going to go with 0 0.005. So now we have the map set up with the outline as well. And you can, by the way, use this technique for outlining any map that you have. The only thing you need is the actual map itself. And you will be able to create an outline without having to use this polygon tool and manually doing that you don't need to do that you can just simply use this and this can be done for any single type of image that you have so now that we have this map set up let's start the animation so right now i'm just going to drag in a rectangle connect this with the merge and this is the outline that we have right here what we need what we can do with this is just simply reveal this outline so let's go ahead at 50 Create a keyframe at width and then at zero, let's change this to zero. So if you play this, this is how it looks. And by the way, you can also do it with the center as well. So this is up to you. I'm just going with the width. You can also use height. You can also use the center. That's up to you. Now let's go over to spline and select the keyframes right here in the width and hit S on the keyboard. So this is how the animation looks. Perfect. So our main animation is done. Let's get back to the main timeline. And you can see this is how it looks overall. Now we need to add some text. And for that, I'm just going to create a new fusion composition. Right click, open in fusion page. So let's drag in a background, change the color to red. Connect this with the media out. And also add in this ellipse, connect this with the background. Now in the ellipse, right click on the width, click on expression and connect this with the height. Change this to 0 0.05. Now let's add in another background. Connect this right here with this background. And again, I'm going to use the same color and ellipse as well. So just go ahead, copy the settings, press Ctrl C and right click and paste settings. And you can now connect this with the background. Now go over to this ellipse and just slightly increase it. So let's go with 0 0.07. But this time I'm going to unselect the solid and I'm going to go with border width 0 0.01 actually let's go with 0 0.005 so this is how it looks now i'm going to add another merge node and again the background as well and same color that we used before and this time i'm going to use this polygon but we're going to use this later on because the reason i'm going to add this right here is because we need to add a glow to both of these actually all of these so we don't need that glow effect settings on the text as well okay so now let's add our text and let me just type in 
this and the form that I'm using is poppins at bold. And now let's connect this with the merge right here. And let me just move this right here like this. All right. Now we can use this polygon and let me just connect this background with the merge tool. And now we can use the polygon to create a line for us. So let's do that right here. Perfect. And now you can just select this modify only. And now you can adjust the line yourself. Just make sure this is straight. And now you can unselect the solid and change this to 0 0.01 or 0 0.005. This looks good. And make sure to set this at flat. Perfect. All right. And let me just adjust this a little bit from here. Actually, let me move the text close to this right here. And now let's adjust this from here. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we need to add some animations and also some effects. But let me first show you the effects. And for this, let's go ahead and move this right here. So all these three things that we have right here, we need to add a similar glow to them. So make sure you select Merge 2, press Control Space and search for Glow. Add this on the timeline and just keep this at default settings. But we don't need the same thing for the X that we have. For that, we will add a different glow. So make sure to add a glow beneath the text as well. But this time we're going to change some settings. So go over to this glow and change the glow size to 50 and the glow to 0 0.5. All right. So we have different settings for the glow as well. Now we need to add some animation. So first of all, let me animate the text. So right here at zero, let's go over to shading. Actually, let's go over to 40 frames. Create a keyframe at capacity one and then at zero, change this to zero. Now over here at 10 frames, go over to layout and from here, go ahead and change the, actually let's go over to 30 and create a keyframe at center Z and then go over at 20, change this to minus 0 0.05. Now let's go over to 10 frames and change this to 0 0.1. So if you play this, this is how it looks. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing for this, you can say icon. So for this, you need to move all of these right here and just make sure you only have these ellipses and now right click on the merge and over here click on transform so we're going to add some animation with this so click on the transform go over at 10 create a keyframe at size at 1 and then go over at 15 change this to 1.1 and then at 20 frames let's go back to 1 so if you play this okay so for me, there was a problem. I had this unselected. Make sure this is not unselected. This is selected. Use size and aspect. And now if you play this, this is how it looks. One more thing we need to do is make sure you select your ellipses. So first of all, I'm selecting the ellipse tool. Go over at 20 frames. And from here, create a keyframe at level. Do the same thing for the ellipse 1. And then add 0. Change this to 0. Make sure both are at 0. Okay, so over here at 20 i think we need to move this keyframe right here at 20 so let me just do that and remove this one from 21 do the same thing for this one as well all right so let's play this and you can see this is how it looks now finally for the line animation let's go over to polygon and you will just notice that there is this right click here for shape animation selected. You can just unselect this and this will remove this keyframe. So right here at 70, we need to change the position. So keep the position at zero and create a keyframe right here. But then go over at 30 frames and change the position to one. So let's play this and you will see this is how it looks. Go over to spline and from here, go over to the polygon and select this keyframe the both these keyframes and hit s on the keyboard so if you play this now this is how it will all right perfect so we have this done now we need to go back to the main timeline and you will see that now we just need to adjust this 
because right now this is everything is starting from the beginning but we want this text to start later on so for example let me just unselect this so for example right here where we have this outline completed right here at 110 you can just move this right here and if you play this now this is how it will look but now we need to also position this and let me just make sure that this is of the same size so you can just reduce it from this and now we need to position these things so over here in the text composition make sure to change the zoom at 0 0.7 and change the position at minus 125 and go over to this fusion composition which is basically the map that we have right here and change this to 215 all right so if we play this now here you can see this is how it looks okay one final thing we need to do here is to add an adjustment clip so let me add this right here make sure all these key all these clips different clips are of the same length so make sure nothing is off and select your adjustment clip and just click on this dynamic zoom and that's it you will get this nice looking dynamic zoom and you will notice this effect a lot in the real life lore videos where the map is zooming out and it is a very slow zoom zoom out so this is how you can achieve that okay so now that we have it everything done all that's left to do is just some you can say sound effects but this is up to you the main thing is done but i'm just going to add these sound effects just to make it look more dynamic so over here we have i have already renamed this as outline mask so we're going to use this as the first one where we have this outline revealing so this is basically why i've renamed this to outline mask so let me just move this right here and play this perfect and let me just move it right here and this is just position this somewhere in the middle between this uh, until this comes in so this is up to you totally to you so this is the first one and the second one is the text alert so just position this right where the text starts and this is how it will look perfect so this is it this is how you can create this nice looking animation map animation just like real life lore has in their videos and this is how simple it is to create something similar and also have some uniqueness to your animation in davinci resolve so i hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one